The construction of the Thwake multi-purpose dam in the, e in the eastern Kenya is 48% complete with the government estimating that phase one of the project would commis be commissioned in no by November next year. Now phase one involves construction of a multi-purpose dam and second phase entails a 20 megawatts hydroelectric electric station and in phase three water infrastructure would be put in place to supply treated water to 1.3 million residents of Kitui, Machakos and Makueni counties. The last phase involves putting 40,000 hectares of land under irrigation. Here is Steve Miner with the details. Imagine walking over 10 kilometers to fetch water for livestock and domestic use. Iyo maji, mahali tunapata kwa kuenda iyo kilomita, sa ingine tunakutana na ii mnyama ya, ya, ya ina, inakaa kwa maji, crocodile. But then, the water you find is not fit for human consumption. Tunasikia anga tu, maji za huyu muto ni chafu. Sisi ya tujui kufima na tulikuwa tunatumia tu maji hayo ya kiwa na muna hiyo tu. This is a story of the residents in parts of Kitui, Machakos and Makweni counties. To address this, the Dwake Multipurpose Dam was initiated under the Strategic Water Storage Program in 2018. Tutajenga bwawa hapa ya Dwake ambaye yataweka maji ambaye kakwaida ya, ya ya mafuriko ambayo kawaida huwa yaenda kwa Indian Ocean hii ni mradi ambaye ilikuwa ni ndoto katika sehemu hii ya ukambani kwa sababu ya tatizo ya maji the project which is jointly funded by the national government and the African Development Bank is being implemented in four phases Phase 1 involves construction of a multi-purpose dam, while phase 2 entails putting up a 20 megawatts hydroelectric station. Phase 3 involves laying water infrastructure to supply treated water to up to 1.3 million residents of Kitui, Machakos and Makweni counties, while phase 4 entails putting 40,000 hectares of land under irrigation. This is the idea because this is the idea Kwa wingi, hakuna maali patakuwa apana stima kwa area hii. Phase 1 of the 82 billion shilling Thwake multi-purpose dam, which is 48% complete, is expected to be commissioned in 18 months. Chanelizi kwa, kwa sasa eh, ya, meka, ya meka milika eh, mkondo wa kwanza, huu ni kulipua na kufuna kutoa mawe na mchanga kwenye tunnel. Sasa tunaenda kwa kwa mkondo wa pili um, wa kuweka simiti kwa tunnel yote ndio isaidie maji kuweza kupita kwa usalama. The dam taps water from Athi River and Thwake River, rivers whose banks have for years been bursting, thereby endangering lives and destroying property of those living downstream. Kwa ukubwa hizi ndizo ndizo tunnel kubwa kabisa Kenya. Eh, ini kwa sababu tunatarajia kuwa na maji mingi sana inapitia hapa kwa sababu wa, wa maji ya Thwake River na Athi River. Hii maji yanatoka Thwake na Athi River. Hiyo confluence mahali hizo mito miwili zinakutana. Tunaweza tukahifadhi hiyo maji na sehemu hii ya ukambani Construction of the dam has created direct jobs and also seen some businesses sprout in the area, creating wealth for the residents and also investors. This kasi is my idea. This kasi, is my idea. This 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 is my idea. Kabla nilikuwa sifanyi biashara mtoto wangu alikuwa ana, akienda shule anafukuzwa anakuja anakaa nyumbani lakini venye sasa nimeanza hii biashara naona bado niko na makasoma ninaona bado nina, ninaendelea mtoto wangu mwanzo anasoma bodi saa hii primary na anaendelea vizuri on completion, the Dwake Multipurpose Dam is expected to offer up to 134 million liters of water daily for domestic use and put over 40,000 hectares of land in Makweni and Kitui counties under irrigation. By Kenya, build Kenya, tunatumia local material. 
tunatoa mchanga kwa Tuaki River. Tunatoa kokoto hapo. Yeah. Na pia tunaweka 11% ya contract ya wananchi. Reporting for Channel 1 Business. My name is Steve Maina.